Dakota alone. Media toured the brand new Williston Basin International Airport today for the first time. The nearly $300 million project is finished, and as Malik Wilson reports, city officials believe this will open up many opportunities. After a few years of construction, the Williston Basin International Airport is finally complete and is a huge bonus for the city. The economic impact of having a facility of this magnitude where not just for leisure travel, but also for business and commerce uh, is a huge thing for the region. The $275 million project is the largest piece of infrastructure ever incorporated into Williston, creating a new opportunity to serve all of Western North Dakota and Montana, as well as flights from and to Canada and other countries, something Slewland Field International Airport could not do. So people currently who are used to maybe the facility that has limitations now, it's smaller, we're having to travel to get those flights to hard to reach places, they can now do that here. Not only was Slewland Field inconvenient for most international flights, the safety issues raised concern as well. Thing that revolves around the safety standards that an airport has to abide by aren't met at Slowland Field. So really it, it was a case of are we going to build a new airport on Slowland Field's property or in a Greenfield site. The new Williston Basin International Airport now includes full service restaurants open to the public as well as a 103,000 square foot terminal that has passenger boarding bridges eliminating outdoor plane boarding. Something Anthony Dudas says they can grow from in the future. Accommodate uh, what we have today, but also with the ability to grow as additional air service comes to our community and as our needs arise. The mayor of Williston, Howard Klug, plans to open the airport to the public on Saturday after ribbon cutting. Malik Wilson, KX News. And the first flight is set to land on October 10th from Denver around 10.50 a.m. A 21-year-old 